What's the stake tonight? DSL League title. So, uh, you know, two very good teams uh, right away. Um, you know, league play. Both teams are 0 0 right now, but, uh, uh, you know, a lot's on the line. A lot's on the line. There's a lot of stake tonight, but it's a calm atmosphere. It's a lot of energy in here tonight. We do our job. We'll bring home, we'll come on with the victory. The Saints bring on a team with an unprecedented six-game winning streak determined to dethrone the defending Desert Sky League champion, Hawks. What awaits all is a defensive struggle of massive proportions unforeseen and a contest beset with bends and breaks by both teams that leave the outcome not to be decided until the final two and a half minutes of play. Both teams come in averaging 26 points a game. Both teams will roll sevens to hit pay dirt. The Hawks seven twice. Silverado's Nick Reed Casey scores a pair of second half touchdowns, the first from seven yards out. It puts the Hawks up nine to nothing. The second, the game winner, essentially on the 24 yard run on the first play of the fourth quarter. The Hawks defense denies Atalanto's late game attempt to replicate a Silverado fate like the Hawks suffered a week earlier. Silverado holds on instead and emerges with a four-point victory, 16 to 12. How did you keep a high-scoring Atlanta team from scoring more than two touchdowns? Well, at home, we just watch film and their plays are really predictable, so it was really easy to stop. Caught out their plays right before they caught it, and that was easy. How big was this win? It was not that big. It was kind of easy to, yeah, but... We's on to the next. Silverado's defense was undeniably dominant throughout the entire first half and until the final two minutes of the third quarter. It was then that Saints number seven, Marshawn Buchanan, bursts through for a 92-yard sprint to the end zone. The touchdown brings Atalanta within three, nine to six, entering the fourth quarter. With the Harvest Moon as a backdrop and the Desert Sky League distinction of front runner hanging in the balance, Atlanto's number seven, Marshawn Buchanan, has begun to heat up. This, the kickoff return following Silverado's first touchdown. Now to the fourth quarter. Silverado is up 16-6. Atlanto gets back into the game with a second long range touchdown. Angel Ochoa's pass caught by homecoming royalty, Makai White, 90 yards. And the Saints are an onside kick recovery away from doing to the Hawks what Ukaipa did one week earlier. Silverado recovers the onside kick attempt and runs out the clock. Let's go back. Silverado scores on their opening possession, driving deep into Saints territory on the strength of big gains by Nick Reed Casey but their propensity for committing penalties on absolutely every offensive possession of the night prevents them from reaching the end zone. Junior kicker Roman Olivares puts the first points on the scoreboard with the field goal from 33 yards out. Silverado's opening drive had been time consuming. The field goal comes midway through quarter number one. How dominating? Is Silverado's defense in the early going? Atalanta's first four possessions, three and out. Knighty is six foot, 225 pound junior, Kaysen Brooks. This is the outstanding pass reception the Daily Press photographer Jose Hurta captured so brilliantly. Junior walk on banks the catch. This play is worthy of the highlights reel on two counts. First, Saints punter Gabriel Perez avoids catastrophe by getting the punt away despite the errant snap. Then watch Nick Reed Casey, who refuses to give up on the opportunity to return the punt, snapping it up and returning it deeper into Saints territory. This says a lot about Nick Reed Casey. They better finish you on a play. You picked up a punt and almost broke it away. Just describe that burning desire that you're never going to quit on a play. I'm just having fun. <laughs> I'm just having fun. It's the playground. I'm just have fun. Congratulations. Big win. How big was this tonight? This was all God. This was this meant a lot to me as my this is my senior year, this is my last year, I gotta do everything. Further evidence of Nick Reed Casey's refusal to give anything less than all he's got on every play, this kickoff return, 
where he breaks a tackle, then breaks another when it looks like he's being brought down, and then he nearly breaks it a third time. Nick Reed Casey was an all Mojave River League first team selection at running back his junior year for the Serrano Diamondbacks. Nick Reed Casey carries 27 times that do count for 167 yards. His two touchdowns give him an even dozen on the season. The game is penalty infested. Another Hawks offensive penalty jumping offside. Then Saints defender encroachment. One sequence beginning with Atalanto's first possession of the fourth quarter saw 14 penalties enacted between the two teams in the exchange of possessions. The level of intensity was high for both teams, not always the level of concentration. A total of 40 penalties are administered this game quite evenly distributed. But I must add, very good sportsmanship did prevail throughout, a factor some observers felt would be severely tested this game. Many of Silverado's best plays were called back due to penalties, usually holding penalties, including this 31-yard touchdown by sophomore quarterback Latavian Lipscomb. Next up for the Hawks, at home against the Barstow Aztecs. The Saints, they go up against the Victor Valley Jackrabbits next at Ray Moore Stadium in Victorville. I-15 Auctions, sold on supporting high school sports. I-15 Auctions, everything from estate auctions to high quality, low priced vehicles.